Merry Christmas. Hi, I'm Clara. We'll take two weeks to introduce the machine configure tool of SIPCAD software. Generally speaking, the tool is not for customer sighting. All parameters in it will be input by factories based on the specific details of the machine. When we have problems or need to replace some data, we'll look for assistance in the machine configure tool. But any problems handling or replacement should be under the professional guidance. The two videos are not responsible for teaching you how to change any data in machine configure tool. Start up the machine configure tool. We need to input the password 61259023. Then we can see an overview of our machine here. The top banner is the basic functions. Import will help us to import the parameters backup we saved previously. Let's check the details of machine. For X and Y axis, most of the servo motors are NC. So here it shows NC for servo alarm. If the motors are NO, it should be also NO here. Let's see the machine is a 1530 model. The range of X is 1500 millimeters and Y 3000 millimeters. It will tell the size of soft working field. And when we take the soft limit protection, the range shows the effective range of X motion is from 0 to 1500 millimeters and Y is 0 to 3000 millimeters. Pulse equivalent sighting here will influence actual running distance. It needs to be sighted according to the machine structure and servo motor sightings. We suggest 1 mm for 1000 to 2000 pulses, which the precision and max speed is under well controlled. Maximum speed and maximum acceleration here will offer a maximum limit for parameter sighting in SEPCAD. The purpose is to avoid possible damages to the machine when the operators set the speed or acceleration too large. Here we can see the dual drive for YX. It should be set correctly according to the machine. Currently, most of the Fabulator Carty machines are in dual drive. W axis is used for cutting paths with SEPCAD software. It's not quite common now. There is exclusive tube cutting software, so here we'll just pass it. Square needs correction function is used for compensation. When the machine has been working for a period and there is issue on the cutting verticality. We try to cut a large square or rectangle, then we need to measure the distance of diagonals. Let's imagine we cut a 1000 by 1000 mm square. We measure its diagonal distance and input the value here. It will display a compensation for the actual cutting. When we take correct y-axis, it means y-axis is no in trouble in verticality. The same to correct x-axis. Attention here is not for new machines. If there's such issue for new machines, probably the factory doesn't check the machine before its delivery. Encoder direction. For some advanced functions like flying cut, find edge, error determination, we need the encoder feedbacks. Let's say we are doing flying cut. The laser beam is disappeared after the first cut. Probably is the problem of encoder direction. So now we need to check the problem, go to the monitor of control board and try to send a pulse and check the direction. The function of pitch compensation is to compensate the gap error during machine installation and the error could be an accumulation. 
when we try to catch some large atoms, like 1,000 by 1,000 millimeters, the error could have a large influence. Here we can apply the interferometer to make the compensation. Here we can cite the information what will be shown in the belt of SAPCAD software. Origin here, if we tick Enable Soft Limit, there will be no option to enable Soft Limit here. It becomes a default function. Prompt User at Start will remind us to go Origin when we first start up the software. Prompt User in Warning will remind us to go Origin by sending an alarm. We can choose the origin direction, both negative and positive are fine. The origin signal can be sampled by the origin or limit. Limit logic here, we can set it NO, NC, or in detail. We can set each limit and origin to a specific logic. Z-free signal with just two ticket. It's a near origin signal. When this signal is censored, the submotor must deceleration and then stop at the origin to achieve accuracy. We can set the running values here. Let's step to laser. Currently, almost all popular laser sources are supported. Two ways to control the laser source. One is the IO part, which sends signals to the laser source and not very easy to get interferences. However, IO parts cannot offer sufficient information of the laser source, like the alarm taps, and it will occupy many IO parts. Another is the communication method, including serial port and network communication. Communication is easier to connect the laser source and offers more information, like we can tell the specific alarm type, but it will easier to get interferences. So tick ignore communication result is suggested. From my experience, communication is more suggestive than IO parts. Let's take IPG as the example. We can input the power here. PWM enable positive and PWM enable negative. They are kind of protective sighting for the laser source. Normally, there will be a relay to connect the PWM signals, which will avoid the laser beam leakage. Values sighting for PWM here will protect no damage to both control board and the laser source if the relay is broken. DA select, if we use communication control, is not necessary to set here. But if we take IO parts as the control way, we need to choose one DA port. Here we can choose the laser source tab. Each tab has its own communication protocol. I'm Clara. Next week, we'll continue to introduce the machine configure tool. Merry Christmas! Do you have issues on your laser machines? Please put it in the comment below or contact us directly. Subscribe me here so that you get noticed as soon as I upload a video for you. Thank you. Bye.